Well, all right. I'm rebuilding my single piston calipers for my 84. Well, most of it, electric light, back end, rear wheel and swing arms not, engines not, because that's a twin cam and a year that was either a shovel or Evo. And it's also fuel injected. So, but anyway, the cylinder started leaking, so I replaced both of them. And the master cylinder was leaking also, so I replaced it to 36 years old. It deserves to leak. Main thing is clean it. I was watching a video with that guy off Fix My Hog. He said, don't leave the bleeder. No, clean this thing out. Clean it all. Here's this. I got new uh, washers for the banjo bolt. Uh, I call it a banjo because the end of the hose looks like a banjo. But this was nasty. It was nasty in here. And I just cleaned it with DOT 3 brake fluid. I didn't want to introduce any strange chemicals into it. Cleaned it. Actually cleaned the old piston and put it in there and turned it a little bit. You don't haunt them. Some will say haunt them, but they're like, eh, maybe not. But it's clean. It looks good. And it's got some oil in there now if you're wondering what that sheen is. Because it lubricate everything. Everything you put in here, lubricate it. Now, the main reason I did this video... It's when I got this bike, somebody had rebuilt it in the past. Because when I took this out, took this out, this clip is designed to hold this in. In case you're wondering, it's what the manual shows. I got a hydraulic foot on this, or brake foot. Anyway, this goes on top of this to hold this sill in place. That's one. Number two, do not put the piston all the way in. What you do, you soak your gasket. If you look, I don't know if you can see, but right where my finger is, there's a groove. And that's where that little gasket goes. It's not an O-ring, it's a squared off gasket, which you can't see it. I wish I had some light, but it's square. And it goes in there. Then you lube your piston up, and then you push it down, but don't push it all the way. If you do, you'll have to take an air hose like I just had to do and gently blow it and get it to stick back out so you can get this to stick on top of that. I guess you could go ahead and put it on if you want to and put it all in at one time, but uh, it depends on your skill level and how good you are at it. But just remember this goes on top of that lip, right like that. It goes right on top of it and that's what helps hold it in place. And then you put them on, put your new washers on, Next is the master cylinder, which is in a bag around here somewhere. If, you, if you're going to have it off for any length of time, put it in a plastic bag. That way you keep dirt, debris, cat hair, dog hair, whatever you got floating around in your shop, out of your master cylinder and your brake calipers. Well, anyway, let's get this other one together, get them on, get everything tightened up, and then work on the master cylinder and see if I can't bleed it and get this bike ready to ride. Have a good day.